Hi, my name is Andy. Welcome or welcome back. I'm really happy that you're here. Today is my monthly collab with Leanna Dalton. We do this every month, usually the third Wednesday of the month. Sometimes we have to change it around because life is busy. If you don't know who Leanna is, I will have her linked in the description box below as well as a link to her video. Uh, Leanna is one of my very best friends. She has a beautiful heart. She has a beautiful soul. She's a beautiful person. She's also very knowledgeable about makeup and skincare, uh, especially for the more mature woman like myself. So if you haven't checked out Leanna, I strongly urge you to do that. Hang out, uh, spend some time with her, see if she's your jam, and maybe subscribe. So what we're doing today is we're taking a palette our palette of a palette of our choice um, and we are pairing our more special shimmers with it meaning like Cleona Divina to a chromes multi-chromes holographic just beautifulness so I am using the Fete de Provence from Nomad Cosmetics this is what the palette looks like it is beautiful uh, I don't get near enough use out of this either but uh, this is what it looks like. I'm going to be concentrating on these two rows right here. And um, I really wanted something cool toned, something muted, because I wanted my special shimmers to shine. My special shimmers I'm using are both Cleona. This is the Lapis Lazuli. That is what it looks like. It is beautiful. And the other one, I'm going to swatch these for you, by the way. The other one is called Redox, and this is what that looks like. Equally as beautiful. Now, I am fortunate enough to have these shades because, here's what they look like, aren't they gorge? Uh, one of my other best friends, Ash from the channel Makeup and Chaos, gave me a clean a gift card for my birthday last year. Let me tell you what, that was a shocker and I loved every second of it. Never expected something like that. I just have amazing friends. I do. I'm going to be using the Ace Beauté um, eyeshadow primer. I'm going to ask you all to be patient with me. Uh, I am trying to um, change my video quality a little bit, like um, better, better my video quality. Um, but uh, it's a work in progress, so just stick with me. Some some of these videos, I'm just saying, stick with me, be patient. I'm going to go into the shade Champs-Élysées, and I'm putting that in my transition area. I did not set this eye primer. I'm trying to not set it and see what happens because I don't want these shades to be diffused by the um, cream colored shade that I put on my lid to set this primer. You might hear the birds outside. <laughs> Some birds uh, right outside my window. There's a tree out there. That is such a pretty, light purple, cool purple shade. I do love that shade. Now I'm going to go into the shade. I think it's called Marche de Provence. Uh, Marche, Marche, I think. I'm going to take that and I'm going to put that more in my crease. I'm not worried about what this down here looks like because it's going to be covered up. I'm more worried about the top of it. I'm kind of digging into my crease. I want that in there. I want to create some depth. And I'm also going to be put it in, putting it on the outer part of my lid. Yeah, that's really pretty. I do like those. I do really, really like those shades. Yeah, I like that. That's pretty much what I was going for. Um, I do really need to set this eye primer down though. And I feel like I knew that 
and I forgot. <laughs> oh well. And now I'm going to take this shade called, I think it's called Hout, Hout, Alps. I don't know, it's a dark gray. Hout. And I'm going to put that in just in my very outer corner, just to deepen that up. Again, give it some dimension, give it some depth. But I'm not doing much with it. I'm not, um, I'm not doing, I just want it right in that area. Pretty, pretty. I like it. All right, we're done with that palette. We're going to bring over our pretties. And I am going to be using a flat brush. This is an AOA Studio brush. This is a, it's an E121, my favorite brush for shimmers. And the first thing I'm going into is the Lapis Lazuli. That's the first one I showed you. Put that lightly. Because these are so soft and delicate. I'm going to put that in the middle part of my lid. Oh, it's so pretty. I used some Davina shadows yesterday with a they're a greeny, um, almost like a mint green uh, with some, I don't even know. I can't even describe it because it's so amazing. Um, I used this with brown yesterday because I wanted kind of to see what, what I wanted to do for today. And it they, they were stunning. They were absolutely stunning. But I'm like, you know, that looks very winter, very dark, um, very cold weather which yesterday was a little chilly, so I think that's why what got me in the mindset. I wanted something today. I wanted something, I wanted something spring or, I don't know, just had a little bit more life to it. And you can't go wrong with purples. You can't. They're just pretty. Um, these shimmers probably do better. I think they do amazing with the brush, don't get me wrong. But um, they probably do better with your fingers. I'm not a finger... I don't like putting shimmers on with my finger. You guys, I keep looking over here because that's where my viewfinder used to be. Mm. I'm trying to be better. Be patient. Be patient. Um, but I'm going to go into the redox and put that on the front part of my lid. forgot what I was saying after I realized that I was looking in the wrong area. Oh my God. Oh, fingers. I don't like to apply shimmers with my fingers. I feel like I get a more precise application with a brush. Like I can't do this with my fingers. I can't carve out exactly where I want this shadow. I can't do that with my fingers. I just feel like a brush gives it it's just more precise. I'm really happy with that. Um, I am going to go off camera. I'm going to clean up this right through here because um, I, I I don't normally do my face makeup first and I just kind of go ham. And I did. I went ham and I forgot that I already had my face makeup done. So I'm going to clean this up a little bit. I'm going to do liners, lashes, and lips and uh, we'll come back and discuss. Don't go anywhere. And I am back. This is my finished look. I went very neutral on my lip. Uh, it's almost a pinky nude. It's a very cool tone. I didn't want to go too crazy because uh, we are going out to eat and we're going to hit Sam's. <laughs> so I want a very neutral, very wearable lip. Again, I used the Nomad Fete Provence and then the two Cleona shades that I used is the Lapis Lazuli and the Redux. You guys, this is called Climbing Vine. It's not Redux. It's Climbing Vine. Stand by. This is the Redux. This is the Climbing Vine. I thought I was grabbing this one. Well, I love it anyway. Climbing Vine. I will... Uh, Put that on the screen during editing so I don't look like a 
total dork the whole time. I did decide to do a little wing today, a little wing with my Mac. Oh my gosh. The Mac brush stroke 24 hour eyeliner. The brush on this tip is perfect. It's just this little guy and it's so easy to do a wing and liner. If you know me, you know, I, very liquid eyeliner challenged very much. And this is like super easy. I got it from Zach Dooley. He gave it to me. And then my lip color is the Maybelline 24 seven ink crayon in the shade. Trust your gut. It is a Holy grail. Um, I am almost, I guess I'm not. Yeah. Almost out of it. Uh, this will go very fast. Luckily I can replace it and I will because it is my favorite lip. My favorite. Thank you so much for joining me today. I really appreciate you being here. Don't forget to go check out Leanna. See what looks she creates. See what shimmers she chooses. I am excited to see myself. Until next time, I hope everyone has a great day and we'll see you later.